what's going on everyone wanted to jump on here real quick and do a quick update on the trailer build as you can see from the last video got a lot of stuff installed uh, we still have a lot of work to do but wanted to jump on here and do a update on just the plumbing um, we still have the electrical the signage and just random oddness things to uh, tighten up and cinch down and then we'll be good to go but as far as the plumbing, what I have for tanks, and it's lit up, I have a, uh, on Amazon, went and got a uh, LED blue tank light, or fishing light, uh, to illuminate the tank. So, that's, uh, that's pretty neat. Got a 275 gallon IBC tote that I got from a buddy for free who works at a factory. For my SH tank, 55 gallons. For my soap tank, five gallons. I, I mix my soap with my SH. Um, so when I downstream, it's already somewhat soapy. Um, I don't plan on using that for any soft washing unless I'm doing some like super, super nasty roofs and I just want a little bit of extra soap. But sorry if this is gonna be a little bit um, kind of uh, jumpy, but I'm gonna try to go in chronological order. But for my feed hose, I got three quarter inch Flexzilla, 200 feet on there. Um, it will run to this three-way valve. Now, the reason I have a three-way valve is I also offer window cleaning. So this year, I bought a Tucker water-fed pool system. Super excited about that, but once I hook up to a spigot, hook the three-way valve that way, water runs into the tank. On the inside, I have a float valve. Basically, uh, will stop the water once the tank gets too full. If I have the lever this way, water will run that way to the water-fed pool. Now, I also wanted the option to have water run to the pole from the tank um, without a spigot because I'm gonna be offering um, solar panel cleaning. Um, it might be in remote areas where I don't have access to a spigot or here um, on our business square, I have some window cleaning clients that I would like to use the water fed pole on and there's no outdoor spigot. They have a spigot inside um, but I'm not gonna run a hose into their shop. So just wanted to have the option to have water pumped from my tank to my water fed pole. So this pump will, uh, this is my soft washing pump. This will be mounted inside, but I wanted to get everything tested out. So that's why it's up here. Uh, we still have the electrical to do. So that's the next process. That will be a different video because everything is gonna be on switches. It's gonna be sweet. So, um, I'm gonna skip real quick. I have the Midwest uh, Hydro Mixer for my proportioner system, three quarter inch line running in there. Um, and so if I'm going to pump from my tank to my water fed pole, basically shut my chemical and my soap off, make sure these are rinsed out super good. You don't want soap or chemical running to your water fed pole, but basically shut these off um, and then turn the water on which will pull from the tank into here to this three-way. Now, if I'm soft washing um, a roof, pre-treating, post-treating concrete, then I will have the lever selected up, which will run the solution to my hose reel. If I have the lever selected this way, the water will run down to my water-fed pole. I have a plastic ball valve on here because when I hook up to a spigot and um, the water is going to be running this way. I don't want the water to run up. So I will shut the ball. I will keep the ball valve shut. Um, and then I will open it if I'm going to be pulling water from my soft wash pump. So that is basically my, my means of getting water um, to my tank and um, to my water fed pool. I do have a one and a half inch dump valve so that is on a plastic ball valve um, and then that will be to at the end of the day that will be to drain the tank or hand washing station bucket filling station whatever you need just extra water um i already talked about the proportioner system uh flow pro that's new this year super excited about that um i have the flow pro mounted um right here um i wanted it Ease of access, number one, if I need to change out the ball valve or do any maintenance, switch out the injectors, everything's right here, ease of access. Another reason I have it like this is 
watching videos, trailer builds, just people pressure washing, a lot of people are going, I feel like more people are starting to switch to using their hose reels for storage only. Um, I'm not to start off with, but it's something I might try out. And um, if that's the case, um, then this will be hooked up to where basically I just pull off the length that I need, unhook, and hook directly into here. But for right now, I'm just gonna use the whip line and use the hose reel. Um, so, yeah, really excited about the Flow Pro this year. Um, and I'll explain what I was doing last year when I get to my backup four gallon a minute. Um, everything is on three-way valves for rinsing purposes. So um, this is the line that goes to my uh, chemical nub. So the three-way is this hose goes to my chemical tank. This hose comes from my water tank. So during the day, switch it this way and I'm pulling chemical at the end of the day select the lever this way and I'm pulling water to rinse out the um, the chemical uh, valves the downstream injector also this line goes to my chemical tank this line goes to my water tank so during the day pulling chemical the lever selected this way at the end of the day when I go to rinse select the lever this way and then rinse out the uh, the downstream injector. Um, two hose reels, uh, that one will be for my main eight gallon a minute, that will be for my four gallon a minute if I have um, an extra guy coming with me, or if this hose busts, um, that I can easily just swap out the, uh, um, the whip line to this one and then pull off that way. That way I don't have to repair the hose on the scene, I can just uh, roll it up, come back to the shop, swap it out later um i'm going to do a full tutorial over the trailer once everything's done kind of going over everything why i did it stuff like that but um the soap line um goes uh there's a drop tube right there that i'll put in there like i said i'm i i mix my soap i only use very very little soap just to get a little suds not nothing too crazy um, I don't really plan on using a whole lot of soap, so I wanted to put a drop tube um, in case I wanted to put any other chemicals um, through the proportioner system. The IBC plumbing to the pressure washers. I got a 2-inch banjo clip to a 1-inch barb um, and then to a banjo filter. And then the banjo filter runs to this T. One inch hose going to my eight gallon a minute. And then I have this banjo valve that will run water one inch line to my four gallon a minute. Um, and then, so I'm, I'm not gonna be using a Flow Pro with the four gallon a minute. Um, if I have my part timer um, washing with me, um, if he needs to downstream as well, this is basically how I used it last year before the Flow Pro. So this tube would hook up to my downstream injector right there. Um, and then I would basically just use this ball valve and I would walk to the trailer. So I would select the lever. If I wanted to pull chemical, I'd come to the trailer. I'd uh, uh, put the valve in line be pulling chemical from the tank, um, soap down the house, and then whenever I would need a rinse, I'd come back, select the lever this way, shutting off the chemical, which would um, allow me to rinse. So that's basically gonna be, um, this is just gonna, gonna kind of be put aside because I don't really plan on using that. But like I said, it's, it's a backup, so I need the ability to be able to wash um, with this if and the unfortunate event that goes down on the job and it's too much for me to repair on the site. So I will also have a three-way valve uh, that runs to my water tank um, if I need to rinse out the downstream injector to the four gallon a minute. Um, other than that, everything is kind of just ran a little crazy and wonky. I Hopefully plan on cleaning that up a little bit so it's not so weird and wavy looking, but 
Um, for the most part, it works, it's efficient. Um, I also have this, uh, this uh, uh, valve installed um, on my SH tank. So if I need to, um, you know, pull chemical um, to fill up, um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of water in there. So, uh, but yeah, if I need to pull chemical um, to fill up any uh, pump sprayers or, or anything like that, then I have that hose that will uh, drain the chemicals. So that is basically how I have my trailer plumbed up. Um, let me know what you guys think, if you guys think I'm going to be running into any issues, but everything has been pretty much tested. Uh, we ran the 8-gallon a minute today, did some surface cleaning on the other side of the shop, um, and yeah, man, what a big difference that makes. So, overall, super excited about the trailer, and like I said, this video, I just wanted to go over the plumbing, um, and then we still got the electrical work to do. Um, so when everything is hundred percent done, that will be my last and final video, uh, basically where I will be going over, you know, what I plan to use back here for storage on the side for storage, because we still have a lot of stuff to get on the trailer. So thanks for watching and, um, give this, uh, video, a, a like and, uh, comment down below. What, what do you think? What do you think I should change? Did you, uh, take anything away from this video? Let me know. See you guys.